good time as mine. Okay, and oh my god. It it's snowing something fierce out there. I better get my thing together, go out and make a walkies video. Hokey smokes. Well howdy 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings boys and girls and welcome to this. Not quite downtown Chelton. I'm still in the hills of southern Chelton and heading down to downtown, but it's snowing. The weather forecast had said it was going to be clear and then it was going to rain this afternoon and then it was going to be around 11 degrees Fahrenheit tonight. I've got my umbrella of course because I'm getting snow all over me and I don't want it to get into the camera and like destroy the inside so but it's it's snowing. It's not snowing. When I started putting my coat on and heading out, it, it was big, fat, lazy flakes. But now I'm, I've descended almost into downtown Shelton, and it's a good 120, no, 150 feet lower than the hills of southern Shelton and northern Shelton. So it's never is cold or snowy as it is in downtown Shelton, as it is in southern Shelton, and southern Shelton is always more snowy than northern Shelton. Let's see, that's just really busy and gray, so let's walk up this hill instead and look at the snow this direction. It's less loud. And it's, well, it's more interesting just because there's like less cars and stuff. And so we can see the, the background and the like. And it looks like Silent Hill. I can see further than my webcam. Webcam, I always call it that, than the camera can. Just because of the refraction and diffusion because of the snow. Hokey smokes. And of course, I'm walking uphill and talking as I record and walk uphill. So, if I get out of breath, hopefully you'll understand why. I'm having to hold my camera way back with my umbrella way forward. Otherwise, yeah, nothing's really sticking too much up here or yet. By this upcoming Wednesday, we're supposed to have anywhere between four to eight inches of snow. Whew. Gotta catch my breath as I power up this hill. Or maybe I'll just breathe and show the snow as I attempt to not die from oxygen deprivation. I think those are just regular blackberry bushes. We have all sorts of wild berries growing around. Path to the woods. There are a thousand and one paths to the hills of Shelton. And this is a heck of a hill, I mean. I have come up a good hundred and some feet, just right here, and we're only halfway up. The hills of Shelton or something else, southern Shelton. Once you get into northern Shelton, of course, you leave the mountainous stuff and it's just plains, flat. Once you're up. <sighs> Southern Shelton is nothing like that. 
Boy, that snow is coming down. I have no idea if it's going to actually be sticking. As soon as I get to an area where I can whew, talk without dying, I will do more of that. I mean, again, that's a heck of a hill I've climbed. I wonder how far this is up. There's this one path that you take on 10th Street in a space of about two blocks. You climb 125 feet. Whew. We have a few shortcuts and down like that where in the space of a block, block and a half, you gain about 100, 125 feet of height. So they're shortcuts, but boy oh boy, are you getting yourself in shape by climbing them? Boy, oh boy. Are those like... Oh, they're just flowery type stuff. I was wondering if they were dead berries. Oh, well, they may be dead berries, I suppose. Oh. But there's a lot of a lot of little weird little spots like that where the trail just goes off into the into the woods. Who knows? I sure don't. Lots of places where the kids go off and play. And that's good. I'll have a couple of big drops of water right on right on my camera. Not my camera. There's my it's got a little viewfinder type screen on the front. And right on the front of that are two great big old drops. I can only hope that they're not going to run down inside and destroy any of the delicate electronics. Boy, I hope not. Yeah, yesterday was a heck of a day. Oh, free stuff. It was a heck of a day with my depression. Now I'm out wandering about in the snow. Looking at all this federal garbage. But it's free. Huh. How about that? What the heck street? Oh, this is like 10th Street, I think. Or is it 7th? 7th and 10th come together. Oh, excuse me. Burped. I had to. Oh, doing it again. Excuse me. About an hour ago, I ate a burrito. And, well, I had two burritos. It wasn't just one. Two frozen burritos. Oh, good God. I might as well come down this way. And so, of course, is my Tummy uses my stomach acids to break it down. There's gas production from chemical reactions. And next thing you know, I'm wiping water off of my viewfinder so it doesn't destroy the delicate electronics. And that all happened because I had a burrito. Weird. It's going to be snowing quite a bit more, as stated, about anywhere from two to eight inches there. The latest forecast before I went walking was two to four inches by Sunday, two to eight by Wednesday. So, kind of hard to say what's going to happen. But unless it, unless it does follow the forecast, because it said it was going to be clear. The forecast said it was going to be clear and that it was just going to rain this afternoon and then get super, super, super cold tonight. As you can see, it's about 11, between 11 and noon, and it ain't clear. It may well rain, I don't know, but for right now, 
it may just snow straight through, which would be kind of nice. I like snow. I like going on snow walkies. I like showing off Sheldon. I don't like feeling jealous about people with money, but still, anytime I look at a house that has like two stories or any sort of land, I feel intensely jealous. But that's just because I'm poor. Dirt poor. My name is Dirk Poor. I'm a private investigator. Dirk. Dirk Poor. Maybe. Some stupid story involved in there. Oh, but yes, I've been, just as a quick aside, I've been, wait till the car goes by. Every time I go walkies, one of the things I think about, spend hours thinking about on my walk, is the whole story that I did back in December. Sigur Plague Sun and the Plague Lords. And I've got an actual bloody story already done and a whole novel that I need to write. And I've just got various parts I'm working out in my head now. It's all pretty cool. I just need to write it. Uh, mass cars, how nice. I'm gonna walk down to the bottom of Turner here. And then Oh, we'll make a walk into the, uh, there's a park. I can't remember what it's called. Wallace Neeland Park, something like that. We'll go into the park, see what the park looks like with all the snow. Probably won't be much because it's downtown Shelton. We're already losing all this altitude that we gained by walking up. No sidewalks here. It is kind of a dangerous road, especially in weather like this. So here's hoping I'm not going to die because I don't know if I could really survive being smacked by a car. I mean, you never know. Steve King, Stephen King, horror writer, he was, what? I don't know how old he was when he got smacked by a, a car and he should have been killed like at least three or four different ways just from that alone. And he's still here, so who knows? Maybe I could survive it. I don't want to find out though. I really don't want to get hit by a car. I've been in automobile accidents. None that I've really caused. I mean, I've done minor things like little tiny fender benders. Like when I would, when my wife was alive and I had to drive her places, I was only getting an hour of sleep a night. And so very periodically, very periodically, very rarely, but periodically, I would actually, while we were stopped at a stoplight, I would fall asleep. My foot would slip off the gas, not the gas, the brake. And then I would go wonk and drive the car six inches forward in the license plate of the car in front of us. That happened like three times. But I never did anything more than scuff up license plates. I never caused any damage to vehicles. Whereas for me, for a period of time, for a few years, I hated coming to a stop at intersections because what would happen is I would stop and then I would hear a screech slide. And then, oh boy, wham, as I was rear-ended hard. And that happened like five or six times. I even got clipped by a garbage truck. That was special. Luckily, all in a vehicle, but still. Any major accidents I've been in have never been my fault. They've always been other people's, but we, there have been a few, I'm embarrassed to say. Boy, even down here, it's a sticking. Even though down here, because that's like a, I don't know what the hell is at the bottom of this hill. Oh, well like the uh, park and a little store thing. But even that is like 50 feet, 50 to 75 feet higher in altitude than downtown Shelton. So, is that a, oh, I must have, I got water on my lens too, I'm sorry. There's a refraction from a water drop there up near the top. And that's special. Yeah, there's the park. Ooh, it's getting windy. Big fat flakes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here's my 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 bag I've been holding with my umbrella hand. Oh my. It's covered in snow. <laughs> but my... Ooh! I had a fair amount of snow on top. 
probably a fair amount of snow on my back and too since my brawly isn't covering my back at all. It's pushed out so far in front to try and at least help protect the camera a little bit. Oh, it's nice. Snow is nice. I mean, it could be nicer, should be nicer, but it's not bad. I like this. Snow is a good thing. Let's walk across this grass. I used to bring my children here when they were younger, back when my wife was alive. And I would watch them and chase them and play with them out here on this stuff and they had fun. And she got really sick and then she died. Well, she didn't get really sick and then die. She was really sick even before we got married. It's just she didn't realize and nobody realized how actually sick she was until her second pregnancy. And that just did the job. Well, our second pregnancy, her third. And it just finished the job of wiping on her heart. Oh, well, look at all these birdies. Hi, hey, birds. Well, gosh, I'm not trying to, I don't want to scare or irritate the birds, so I'm not going to walk at them. I'm going to walk this way now. Well, thank you very much for coming along with me on this journey of exploration. It is very cool, greatly appreciated. I like going on walkies. I like snow. I like recording things for people. So I hope that you enjoyed. I'm going to do more later. Whether it's more snow walkies or what, that depends on the weather. But I'm going to have more videos, definitely. So thank you very much. You take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friends, and that is a very good thing. That's a heck of a lot of snow. <laughs>